This video has been approved. For your ass! Research shows gamers these days are playing games they hate. They think bad is the new good. Hello everybody, welcome to Quick Cut, where I talk to you about a recent movie I saw, what I thought of it, and the movie I saw on August 16 at the Royal Cinema is the Angry Video Game Nerd Movie! Thanks to Con Bravo, ANC, and all those involved into bringing the movie for us Canadians to watch. I was not expecting the movie to be on the big screen for us to watch here. So when the opportunity showed up, I went for it along with Zero Master, Ninja Raptor, Mini Ninjas, and the guys from ANC. So is the movie that took two years to make worth all the time and effort put into it? Or is it a load of diarrhea on the big screen? You should review E.T. No. to one person to design in five weeks. That's bullshit. See, that's exactly what you say in the video. I can't even be pissed off and have it mean anything anymore. All right, me personally, I thought the movie was pretty entertaining and it was fun to watch. I didn't think it was a great movie. I didn't think it was a good movie, but it was definitely a fun movie that any fans of the nerd will appreciate. The movie has a amusing mix of practical and CG effects that were, you know, pretty fun to watch. There were also cameos, uh, some of them were funny, some of them were unexpected, some of them were like, what? And some of them I wished actually made an appearance in the movie. The plot of the movie, for it being based around the E.T. game, is pretty corny, and actually uh, sometimes during the movie I forget I'm watching a nerd movie, but in the end it's still pretty cleverly written. Speaking of cleverly written, the jokes are also pretty cleverly written too. Although I didn't laugh at all of them, I do acknowledge that they are funny, it's just not enough to make me laugh. But don't worry, it did not go to waste, as I did chuckle at a couple of them. So, the jokes did not fail on making Wizworld 100 laugh. Are you crazy? Do you have any clue where Area 51 even is? Between Area 50 and 52? But in the end run, was the movie worth all the time and effort that was put into it? You bet your ass it was! despite some small disagreements I might have with it. Now whether you like the movie or not, you can't deny that it was a big step for James Rolfe in that they put a lot of heart and work into making this movie. And I think we can all appreciate that. A special note on this event is that Kevin Finn made an appearance at this theater. Zero Master and I talked with him, we took pictures, and I gave him my card, and well, Kevin Finn was a pretty cool and humorous guy. At the end of the movie, he did a Q&A with uh, the crowd, and I have that recorded, and I'll find some way to upload it. I'm just trying to think of where to upload it. But back to the movie. Should you watch it? Well, if you're a fan, you should have probably already went to watch it, and if you haven't, you should try and see if you can watch it on the big screen. But if not, you'll eventually be able to see it on digital and later on on DVD and Blu-ray. And by the time you see this video, that might have already happened already, so that part was kind of pointless, but, you know, for the time being. Also, the nerd does review the E.T. game, because if he didn't, this would have been a big advertisement for an episode, and it would have been a waste of time. Because, let's be honest, we're there for the E.T. review. Really? No. Sega Genesis that I got when I was in America. I'm watching the game. So, what was in there was the Game Boy Player with the disc. So that's my list of what I think are the hardest Battletoad levels in the game. I hope you enjoyed it. If there was one suggestion I could make for the movie or for future projects if James Rolfe or Kevin Finn is listening, is you could have used some Wizworld 100. Just saying.